we got a 42 inch TV here on this top wall. That wall used to be just an uh, open area and it's kind of a black hole. It didn't look very good. So we put the wall up and painted a light color against all the dark stuff in here and it looks so much better. Then about a week ago I got the TV up and the TV digital signage is run by a Raspberry Pi. And then I can control it through SSH um, or basically a Telnet, which is a sec secure terminal. And I control that through the register computer. So I don't even have to go access the Raspberry Pi computer. And I've just got a loop of just stuff, random cycling stuff. All the video stuff, the footage that I shot, and I'll be adding more as I get time to add more. But so far it works well. So here's a register computer. So here's the terminal session that's open for the Raspberry Pi. So we've been up seven days, five hours, and 23 minutes, and it's still going, no need to reboot. I can usually do all the updates on the fly, don't even have to restart. Works really well, I'm liking this a lot. Very simple, Raspberry Pi computer costs about 35 bucks plus a memory card. And I'll go upstairs and show you the workings behind the, behind the monitor. All right, so now we're up here above the register. And this is the back side of the wall where the TV is. And that's the Raspberry Pi. That's all there is to it. A memory card, that's the main storage and boot drive. HDMI, you got your network, and that's about it. Power cable here. And I got the two wires running to the screen right here. Raspberry Pi runs about 700 megahertz, so it's similar power to a cell phone, but it's adequate to run the HD video. So I'll show you the top program here in Linux. Raspberry Pi runs Linux, a version of Debian Linux. So you can watch the processes and loads. Loads usually between 15 and 60%, somewhere through there. 